Hello, this is Bishop Walsh checking in with you on Wednesday, April 13th. I am here at the residence. Wednesdays are going to be my day off. So this morning I was uh, minding my own business, trying to make an omelet. And next thing I know, the fire alarm went off. And then the next thing I know, there's two fire trucks out in front. And I felt so embarrassed uh, that the Gaylord Fire Department had to arrive here Despite best efforts to assure uh, everything was okay, there was uh, hardly even any smoke or anything. I don't know why. It's one of those things, perhaps, uh, that the, the sensitivity of the sensors or whatever uh, caused the alarm to go off. But anyway, uh, as the day wears on, it's, it's getting better, and uh, I'm happy to check in with you about a couple of things going on around the diocese. Uh, first of all, I want to just express my gratitude for everyone participating in the Chrism Mass yesterday. It was my first Chrism Mass as a bishop, and it was deeply spiritual, and I want to just say how grateful I am to be uh, the father of the diocese, a shepherd. What I, I feel like the language of the Chrism Mass reinforced for me, uh, and to the privilege and the responsibility and the joy that I experience as part of that. So I want to thank all the priests and the deacons. I want to thank um, the seminarians who were there, all of the consecrated consecrated women and men who were there, especially our, our women, uh, religious and other lay members of the faithful who are administrating parishes, taking on that great responsibility and um, the pastoral work that they do to affirm them as well. And just a few uh, comments about that in a moment. Uh, but all of the, the faithful, the beautiful music, uh, all of the school children that were there and uh, so many of the parishes. I really enjoyed, I, I didn't see it myself, I was in the hall with the priest, but I watched it on live, uh, the, um, on our website later on, all of the ways that our parishes were announced by name and our schools by name and our uh, regional vicars by name, really creating a sense of the whole community of the Diocese of Gaylord. And it was very reaffirming. I just thought, what a blessing that truly was uh, for us. And then to have a little social time after the Mass. So I want to thank everyone for the Chrism Mass. Uh, the seminarians that were with us, um, Jake, Andrew, and Matthew, uh, we should keep in our prayers in a special way as they continue in their formation. Uh, they are going to be around the cathedral for Holy Week to serve the Holy Week Masses. I'm very grateful that they're going to be close by uh, for those important celebrations. And I pray that they do well with their families and their parishes when they do go home. But let us keep them always in our prayer. And for an increase in that number of three, uh, we want to be able to create a vocation culture. And certainly we need uh, the help of our priests in the diocese. So please let us always be mindful of what we can do each in our own way to encourage vocations to the priesthood. Uh, just to mention, in terms of a lot of the things that end up on my desk, uh, there's going to be the consideration of uh, how to handle our parishes in the light of when things happen, uh, whether a death or something unexpected. And we have two of those occasions just recently with the death of Monsignor Porter in Frankfurt and the resignation of Bob Bowersox after 20 some years of uh, faithful service uh, at the parishes in Kalkaska and Fife Lake. So we are uh, doing our best. We want to express our condolences to the family of Monsignor Porter. Um, and his funeral is going to be Monday in Frankfurt. And uh, we're in the process of trying to find a replacement for uh, Bob Bowersox. So please pray for those intentions, as well as so many other um, personnel issues that are be coming up in the spring and always the need to be able to uh, uh, provide the leadership in our parishes so that uh, our parish life can continue to flourish. And uh, I want also just to mention um, the schools. I know we have a lot of our school children very active now in the spring with some new activities, including sports. And uh, I was at a play at the cathedral school, very well done, the uh, Freaky Friday uh, presentation, which I thought was very clever and well done. But I wanna wish all of our uh, Catholic school students um, success as they wind things down and get towards the end, whether it's final exams or again, spring sports or plays or activities that they're doing and um, certainly to continue studying well. And I know there's a big spelling bee or a, a catechism bee that's coming up and I look forward to being a part of that. 
So just to conclude, I wish everyone a blessed Holy Week. And uh, with the joy of our faith, we enter into the great mysteries for Holy Thursday, Good Friday. We wish all of our catechumens and, cat and uh, candidates all the best as they come into the church at the Easter Vigil and that the resurrection of our Lord animates us in all we do on Easter day and always. God bless.